Surprise, surprise, but minions are the lords of Independence Day. Illumination slash Universal's Despicable Me 4 is looking at $28 million Wednesday, sans Tuesday previews, they weren't held, which is high enough to get the movie to an estimated $120 million over its first five days through Sunday. That's where tracking was spotting it, and it's an amount that underscores the continued upward nature of the current box office as event films crowd the schedule in the wake of the double Hollywood strikes. The Friday through Sunday take for Despicable Me 4 stands at $70 million. Rotten Tomatoes critics aren't fond of Despicable Me 4 at 53% rotten, which is lower than Minions. Luckily for Illumination and Universal, those opinions did not prevent audiences from turning this franchise into a multi-billion dollar grossing phenomenon. Proof? The audience RT score for the fourth quell from director Chris Renault and Patrick Delage is 89%. Despicable Me 4 is also going in 52 offshore markets this weekend, including in Mexico, Spain, and Brazil. The pick has some $25 million already in the bank from the international box office, and the total global running total is expected to be around $200 million by Sunday. The fourth Despicable Me finds Gru, Lucy, Margot, Edith, and Agnes welcoming a new member to the family, Gru Jr., who is intent on aggravating his father. Gru also squares off with a new enemy in Maxime Lumal and his girlfriend Valentina, and the family is forced to go on the run. The Despicable Me and Minions universe counts a running series total of $4.67 billion worldwide. The highest grossing title in the franchise is 2015's Minions with $1.1 billion. Members of Gru's family are struggling to adjust to life in witness protection after a new villain, Will Ferrell, becomes hellbent on revenge. Gru reluctantly mentors his teenage neighbor, who aspires to villainy. The minions become lab-grown superheroes, and so on. As the movie noisily stretches itself out in too many directions, it largely sheds any meaningful charm or heart and struggles to cohere around a central story with actual stakes. It extends on a problem in the franchise that began with the third film, which relied more on gimmicky narrative and visual pyrotechnics and empty slapstick to keep things afloat.